Failure is an option, but giving up is not. A familiar quote and a much familiar face on the screen. You know that NABAT examination is just a month away. And I want you guys to just gear up and prepare for the examination no matter what. And who do you think she is? Who is the person on the screen? Just give it a try in the comment section below. Good morning everyone. Let's begin with our morning tales for May 11, 2019. Which of the following has introduced the world's highest resolution image sensor for smartphones? So this is for the first time that the world's highest resolution image sensor that is 64 megapixel as of now has been introduced for the smartphones and it has been introduced by Samsung. What is the purpose behind coming up? So it's just a step to meet the increasing demand for the mobile phones which require or for where the people are requiring or demanding better image quality. They are expected to begin with the mass production by the mid of 2019 and not only these 64 megapixels but another 44, 48 megapixel uh, image sensor has been introduced along with this 64 image sensor. So just a static question, nothing much to remember, very direct question. Moving on to the next question, with which country India has signed a deal to export chili meals to its market? First of all, these chili meals is not similar to the chilies, but chili meals refers to the residue which is left after the oil is extracted from these chilies. And it is widely used as an industry input uh, where there is manufacturing of the chili sauce and other similar products. So India has signed this deal with China where they would be exporting chili meals to China. So this is kind of the fourth commodity which has been made a, which has made a deal with China where the other three farm commodities, the deals were signed in 2018 for that matter and these include the basmati rice and the non-basmati rice or the fish meals and the oil, the tobacco leaves and the fourth commodity, commodity is the chili meals. Now coming back to the chili market in India, so chili is the largest exported spice. Very very important thing, this is the largest exported spice from India and India is the world's largest producer, consumer and exporter of chili. Very important question, very important fact regarding India that India is the largest producer, consumer and exporter of chili. Moving on to the next question, which country has passed the anti-fake news bill? So anti-fake news bill means that the authorities have the power uh, to in fact the police online platforms and even private chat groups that they could remove the content if they find it uh, not suitable or it is uh, against the public interest. In fact, they could post it again after the corrections and this bill has been passed in Singapore. So it's kind of threat to the civil liberties where people are not allowed to independent, independently express their concern over the matter and in fact this would hamper the World Press Freedom Index report of Singapore. So if we talk about the World Press Freedom Index of, of Singapore then out of 180 countries Singapore stands at 151. So 151 rank is quite bad and in fact introducing this anti-fake news bill if this bill becomes act then it would hamper the expression or speech of or the freedom of expression in Singapore. So penalties for not obeying this order or if they do not abide by the law then they could end up in jail for 10 years or with a fine of 1 million Singapore dollar. So this is the expected fine which could be imposed on the people not abiding by the law and Singapore is the country to introduce this anti-fake news bill. What was India's rank in the World Press Freedom Index 2018? So mention your answer in the comment section below that what was India's rank in the World Press Freedom Index? Were we better than Singapore or worse than Singapore? Moving on to the next question, who among the following won the gold medal in mixed air rifle event at the international shooting championship the competition in Hanover Germany so remember this international shooting competition was held in Hanover Germany and in the mixed air rifle event Gagan Narang and Shriyanka Sadangi who won the gold in the mixed air rifle event if we talk about the uh, mixed air pistol event that to junior so pistol junior event Anuraj and Anmol Jain so they were associated with the uh, pistol junior event at the same competition that is international shooting competition which was held in Germany so Anuraj and Anmol Jain won the gold in the mixed air pistol junior event 
and uh, Gagan Narang and Shriyanka Sadangi, they won the Mixed Air Rifle event. Apart from this, they in fact won the medal at the Paisan, the event which was, which was held at Paisan, Czech Republic. They also won the medal at the, the same pair, this Gagan Narang and Shriyanka Sadangi, they won the medal at the Paisan, Czech Republic as well. So after this medal, this Hanover medal is the second medal for Gagan Narang and Shriyanka Sadangi. Now you need to answer two shooters who have won the Olympic medals in any of the Olympic events. Two shooters who have won the Olympic medal. Next question in quite a static question. Nothing much to discuss in this question. Hamleys that is the British toy store chain. It has been acquired by... So for the time being, this uh, industry has been transforming. This company is transforming into a consumer facing uh, model through this retail and telecom ventures. They're doing ventures now and then. And now they have come up with this new venture that is Hemleys or they have started, they have acquired the new company that is Hemleys British toy store chain. And who has made this acquisition? So this is kind of the first uh, acquisition overseas by Reliance Industries the Mukesh Ambani led Reliance industry, they have acquired this Hemleys, the British toy store chain in US. So a question might come in the examination that because it's kind of one of the uh, first acquisition which has been done by the Reliance Industries overseas in the retail brand. The next question for which I'm not going to tell you the answer, I'm going to explain you about the disease. You need to answer that uh, this question in the comment section below that when is the World Thalassemia Day observed? On which day it is observed? First of all, this World Thalassemia or this Thalassemia disease is kind of a genetic blood disorder where the patient cannot make enough red blood cells and they need to be supplemented with the RBCs the red blood cell transfusion every two to three weeks to stay healthy and to survive. For 2019, the theme for thalassemia, World Thalassemia Day was universal access to quality thalassemia healthcare services, building bridges with and for patients. It's quite costly disease. The supportive care and management of the child actually cost the parents uh, approximately 1 lakh to 2.5 lakh per year depending upon the age and the presence of the complications. So therefore, they are making... Uh, kind of awareness and support for the people who are already suffering or have died due to thalassemia. So what you need to do, you need to answer in comment section below when is the World Thalassemia Day observed. Apart from this, you need to mention about the two shooters who have won the Olympic medal. And if you remember, I have asked you about the person who has given this code that is failure is an option, but giving up is not. I hope you abide by this code. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel Anuj Jindal if you have learned anything. There's a bell icon next to the subscribe button. Press that button so that you can receive the notification as and when the video is being posted on YouTube and you do not miss on any of the videos. And thank you so much for watching the video.